skills. Huh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts on a uh, Triple G and uh, Jacobs being announced? Well, How do you go. see that fight going? Sure. Uh -oh. Ask him about that fight, of course. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to hear his thoughts. He's a fan too. <laughs> nah, I definitely feel like that's um that's a good fight for boxing. You know, you got Triple G that's like in my eyes finally going to fight somebody with a, a, a good pedigree, and then you got Danny Jacobs, you know, um, that has his one loss. He came back, you know, stopped Peter Quillen, and this is his his mark. This is his mark to be that star that he wants to become, or Triple G's gonna stop that and be, continue to grow on his success. But I think it's a good fight, a good thing for boxing, and um, made the best man win, and God bless. Do you think at the end that's the collision course for them to end up with Canelo and Triple G in September next year? Um, I mean, you know, I know I know this it's a hype job thing, man, like Triple G, Canelo, Triple G, Canelo. But yo, Canelo should fight me. And then the winner should fight Triple G. Like, you know what I'm saying? It needs to, it needs to have that. That needs to be, you know, redirected somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like, who did? Why is that going that way so much? Where Canelo really hasn't fought the best at his weight class. You know, I understand, like, you know, people want to see Triple G fight, Canelo fight, but are we going to see another Kel Brook and Triple G right now? Like, what determines that? Like. I think Canelo needs a fight, you know, a real top fighter before he would go there in that direction. Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me sometimes. Demetrius, it's been uh, a week since you crashed the party at the press conference, man. What kind of uh, fan reaction have you had since then? I mean, I mean, they they love it, man. Like they're not, they nobody's doing this in boxing. Nobody's seeing the rivalry. Nobody's really sitting there, like you know. I know you got Shannon Bridge, like let's go champ, let's go champ, let's go champ, let's go champ. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, but he's, you know, he's old. You know what I'm saying? He's on his. I'm young and still in the game of, and, and I feel I'm the best so therefore let's make the best fights why are we making like I said um, Canelo and Kirtland um, Cotto and Kirtland like what, why are we making them fights when there's guys like me out there that can make great action packed fights and the fans will be like I'll pay a hundred dollars like to watch them fights not 60 bucks and complain which I feel like yo people should never complain about spending money to watch the two best guys in boxing fight or just in general you know what i'm saying should never be upset about paying pay-per-view you know? is this what you got to do now are we going to see you in the media kind of more the kind of getting your voice out there getting your name out there kind of demanding these these fights uh, and and getting the, the fans fan backing yeah definitely man close mouth don't get fed you know i sat back for um from time to time and you know watch the developments go on with these fighters and sitting back like damn everybody's kind of like forgetting about the real deal you know what i'm saying the, the 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 man like i've been fighting since i was six years old told myself i was gonna go to the olympics made it told myself i was gonna be world champion did that told myself i'm gonna be the best and fight the best i can't do that because these guys don't want to fight me right now and the only excuse is that i'm either inactive or it ain't worth the reward listen the money's gonna be there people know demetrius andre my skill set my skill set talks for itself and i'm just ready to get in there and show the world and myself to prove I'm the best. That's it. Like, it's that simple. If everybody can beat me, why not hurry up and beat me and go home and say, yeah, I beat the best guy? Like, Hopkins, Joe Smith. Um, I thought Hopkins, man, for, for him was like win, lose, draw. This is, I'm going out fighting. That's it. You know what I'm saying? He gave it the best he can. It's sad to see, you know, it wasn't sad, but it's part of boxing, man. Like, you know, he got knocked out the ring. That's the kind of, you know, hopefully he was okay, nothing physically hurt um, with his brain or anything like that. But um, it's boxing, man. He did what he wanted to do. He wanted to fight. He financially didn't have to go out there and, 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 and fight to, you know, pay some bills. He did it because he wanted to do it. And that's 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 the beauty of it. Leading up to the knockout, do you think the fight was close? I wasn't looking at the fight as who's winning the rounds. I was more looking at the fight like slip but not. Oh shit, duck. Oh, woo, woo. Right, he got that. He got past that round. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I was looking at the round. So you know, I mean, like I said, win, lose, or draw. I just wanted to make sure somebody like that, it was safe. What do you like, Bernardo? Is he with all, the all-time greats? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, you know, as far as like staying in the game for longevity, being world champion in different weight classes, and hang and banging with the best, like today, like like I'm speaking today, like he's 50 years old fighting the guys young, and I can't get a fight. Like, how's that? Like, damn, bro, like shit. Oh, you want to fight Bernardi? 51, get at me. Like, what does that mean? It's crazy, man. It's boxing. Like, Ooh, how does it feel to talk so many cameras? Um, I mean, it, you know, it feels good to, you know, let having everybody hear and what I have to say, and there's nothing but the truth, 
and um, voice of my opinion is great because boxing needs something like this. You know, I, I'm a I'm a underrated top dog. Like, how does that make sense? And it's great to be number one in w WBC, um, WBO, WBA, and um, just you know taking one step at a time right now. Like I said, I could be one of them guys that goes around the world, right, and fight internationally guys that's lower level. That doesn't make me the best. I want to be the best, and I don't want to fight unless I'm fighting the top guys who you guys say you're the, you're the best. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to fight, you know, no name, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's not boxing for me. What are your terms for a Charlo fight? My chances? My terms? That I am a clean boxer. And I don't, from here on out, I'm God gifted talent and somebody said, one of them talents said I'm broke, but I'm going to make sure I pay that you get tested and everybody else that I fight from here on out because earlier, who, who got caught for drugs today? The heads. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trying to be in that line because I'm clean, man. I don't need that stuff, man. May the best man win and we all be on um, equal playing fields. And he still fought. What do you think about that? He got caught and still fought. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mess, man. That's not, that's not fair to somebody like me that's clean, you know? But, um... Speaking about the Chalo brothers, I'm ready to fight them whenever. You know, let let's, let me get something out there real quick because they keep referring like, oh, I was gonna I, I was gonna fight Demetrius back whenever he pulled out, right? I couldn't speak on it. Now I can. The whole Rock Nation thing. You know what I'm saying? Like now his excuse is, oh, I pulled out. No, the Rock Nation thing came through. That kind of broke out. Now it's out there that I'm it's going to the courtrooms. January, I signed a paper to fight you once that thing got handled out the way. Did you sign a paper? No. You went and back and forth. Von is Montevosian. Not Demetrius Andre. Von is Montevosian. So who really pulled out when it really came down to it? So, you know, that's about it. But yo, Demetrius Andre, Google that name. You can find all my social media. And um, I appreciate everybody that support boxing and every boxer out there. Stay clean. Do what you got to do. Work hard. And let's make great fights happen. Not this... Um, Cotto and Kirtland and Kel Brook and Triple G and American and Canelo. That's not boxing, man. Lara Foreman. Yeah, oh yeah, Lara, yo, you're forming. Like, what is that? And you guys are like, yeah, no. But let Demetrius call them out. You guys hate me. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> Thank you. why I oughta? <laughs>